Hi and welcome to my channel. .NET Core 3 is out and you can start using Blazor on server side. In this video, I want to show you how you can add a Razor component to an already existing Razor page application. Most of the time, we have an existing application and we want to add some functionality using Blazor on server side. And this is how you can do it. Let's create file new project. I want to choose ASP.NET Core Web Application. Hit next. Project name is my app. And I create a project. I am choosing ASP.NET Core 3 and empty template. Then I create. First, let's add a razor page and create new folder for page another folder for shared then I add new item choosing razor layout also let's add a view start then let's add our index page let's go to this new page and say hello or welcome and here we can add another data so let's try and check it out Next step would be to add Razor page service and routing to this new application. So let's go to a startup.cs here and inside configure services, use services to add Razor page. Also, we have to add endpoints in ASP.NET Core 3 map razor case also let's add static files let's run the project again and see if it's working so the server is up and running and razor page is showing here you can see that layout page is working also and if we go to page source there's our html inside layout page now let's add a blazor component Let's add a new folder here and we call it components. Next, uh, let's add a component here. I can create a new component, but uh, for the sake of this video, I uh, just want to copy and paste an already existing component that I've taken from default template of Blazor. And let's paste it here and it's a simple component that there is a button and when you click on it there's an increment and you can see the new number here if you create a new default blazor server side application using visual studio you can see this component in the sample project next let's show this component inside our page Close all the tabs here and let's go to indexes HTML. Here I want to show this component and to do that I use an await command and HTML render component async. My component would be my app components counter and here I have to specify the render mode. For now, I'm going to pick server pre-render. And now I save the project. Let's try it again. So our server is running and I can see my Razor component here. But the problem is nothing happens. If I click anywhere on this button, nothing changes and and we need to solve this problem by adding blazor service let's go back to the project again and inside a startup i want to add services blazor server side blazor inside my endpoints endpoints map blazor as you know, Blazor server side is using 
signal R in the back end and this is how you activate your blazor hub and uh, let's run the project again and see if it's working now if I click here again nothing happens there are two more chains you need to make first you need to add blazor server side JavaScript to your page also and you need to have an imports for Razor components let's go back and make this change okay let's go to our layout page and here I want to add an X script this is a JavaScript file that is embedded inside Blazor library and you can access it using uh, this URL next we need to have an imports for our Razor components and that's pretty much the same as adding an import for your razor page but um, you need to add a new empty file and use imports dot razor next we need to add some namespaces here before that let's run the project again and see what happens I come here and I click again nothing happens because there are some namespaces you have to add to this uh, imports.razor to get this component working okay i'm not exactly sure which one of these namespaces are needed uh, so i just get a copy and paste from the template project and put it here let's save the project again and run it again now when you click here everything is working and our component is now added to the razor page of course you can have a more complex component uh, inside many razor pages or also inside your views if you are working with mvc and controllers but uh, this is actually how you add component to your razor page okay that's all for today's video Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.